your hair using a conical one. For this video I'm gonna be using my Remington Shine Therapy Conical Wand which looks like that and I love using this one because it's really easy to use and it leaves lasting and shiny curls even on my hair which does not hold the curl usually. So without any further ado let's get straight into the video. Gonna turn on the wand and for my fine bleached hair I use the low heat setting. It won't be the lowest, I'm gonna push it just a bit up from the start. It's not even in the middle, it's just a tiny bit more than the minimum temperature. The wand is heating now, when this light stops blinking that will mean that my wand is ready to be used. In the meantime I will spray my hair with some heat protectant. I have the Gliss Hair Repair Thermo Protect Blow Dry Oil. I'm gonna spray it all over my ends. Heat protectant sprays are important. Remember to use them when applying heat. Then I will brush my hair. part my hair like that. I like it like that. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna split my hair into two pieces and put them in front of my shoulders. Brush them really nice. I will use a glove to protect the skin on my hand. The technique I'm gonna show you is really simple, it's easy, it takes up to 15 or maybe 20 minutes. No setting whatsoever. Let's go. Gonna start with pieces in the back. I will point my wand down. I will wrap the hair around, away from my face. Count to 10 and I will show you what I do. Okay. I am twisting my hair as I am Wrapping it around the wand. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go. Okay. Now I will let the curl go in my hair. Hold it a bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna put the wand down. Then I will let go of my hair, wiggle it a bit, and brush it with my fingers. And you see we have a nice wave. For more volume, pinch the top of your curl while brushing with your fingers. And you see we have a nice wave. Beautiful and shiny. Then I will flip it in the back. Continue. Taking not too small and not too big section. It depends on your hair. Mine is pretty fine, so I can afford to take bigger sections. Point the wand down, wrap the hair around, twisting it as you wrap, count to 10 and let the curl go in your hand. Basically what I'm doing is I wrap my hair around the curling wand, twisting it at the same time, then I Keep it in my hand for a couple of seconds while I place the curling wand down. Then I brush it with my fingers and I put it in the back. Make sure to point the wand down and wrap the hair away from your face, twisting it as you wrap. Wait for 10 seconds and then let the hair go in your hand. Don't forget to twist the hair while you are wrapping it around the curling wand. See this one I did not twist it that much and it does not look so cool as the first one I did. I just forgot to twist. So twist people! The wand placement starts from your ear level over here.
okay I twisted that one really nice and I expect a nice result so let go on your hand when you're letting go of the curl make sure that you pick up with your fingers the top of your curl let it go tosso it a bit and then brush with your fingers yay Again, wrapping the hair around the wand, twisting it at the same time. Count about 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10! Woo! Then let go in your hand. Toss a bit, a bit so that we have more volume here on the top, let go, brush with your fingers and toss everything in the back. For the front, I'm gonna grab smaller sections just because I love the hair in the front to be curlier. That section maybe was too big. I'm gonna let go of that small piece and try again. I feel like the wand needs more heat, so I'm gonna slightly push up a bit more. how beautiful you just comb with your fingers once and then you have those beautiful beachy waves yes love it i love it smaller pieces like this one maybe you should keep the curling one for less than 10 seconds like seven For the front pieces, I need to be extra careful because I don't want them too curly and looking ridiculous. So, I will just keep the one for less time. One, two, three, four, five, and go. <laughs> And the other piece, I'll do the same. One, two, three, four, five, and go. I will brush them with my fingers again. 
pick them up with the glove and brush them with the other finger. <laughs> Yay! Do you like it? I love it. Now I will do the exact same thing on the other side. That was in my way. Since it's my hands, let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is. It's always harder for me to do that side of my head, but I'm getting used to it. The exact same thing. Brush with your fingers. It's important to brush with your fingers while it's hot. That way you get a bouncy curl slash wave. And if your hair gets cool while in one curl, when you brush it with your fingers, you're just going to ruin the curl. And if you brush with your fingers while your hair is still warm, then you get separate curls from one. The point of that brushing with your fingers is not to ruin the curl but to separate the curl. I just love my curls to look more natural. I don't like that one big stiff heavy curl. But if that's your thing, do it. your hair the more spiral your curl is going to be I did not twist very nice that piece and it's not that much spiral as on that side where it's easier for me to twist with my head you see that curls are more spiral but it's fine I don't want my curls to be exactly the same I'm looking for that effortless look and Effortless doesn't mean perfect. Yay, we are almost done.
Also, I have that feeling it's different when you brush with your fingers on which angle you approach the curl with your fingers. For example, check that last curl I did. I lifted it up, hold it over here and then I come from the front. If I come from the side, the curl tends to loosen a bit, but if I come from the front, I just brush it and I give it volume. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if that makes any sense to you. We are almost done. Again, I'm gonna lift it like that so that I create this volume in the root and then I'm gonna come from the front and brush with my fingers and you see that the volume stays. Yay! I have a shorter piece, I'm gonna curl that separately. That last piece was so tiny that I only hold the curling iron for 3 seconds. Yay! Like it? Now we've come to the point where I just check my hair and look if there is something that I've missed or something that did not curl so good. I missed this piece, so I'm gonna curl it real quick now. look always brush with your fingers from down up I mean not like that so that you ruin the volume but put your fingers inside and go up okay that's the finished look Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments if you like it. Oh, I'm gonna finish off this look with some pearls, of course. Here, I didn't want to risk ruining my pearl earrings with the curling iron. I don't know if you can ruin your pearl earrings with a curling iron, but I really do not want to know. That's the finished look, let me know in the comments if you like these curls and if you happen to do them, please tag me on Instagram, I will show you here my Instagram name, if you do that please shout out to me, I will make sure that I see the picture and that will make me just so happy that even if one person follows my advice on some gorgeous curls. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. That was it for me today. Thank you for having me and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm new on YouTube, so it's too early for me to spill some tea, so here I am spilling some water. Don't do this at home.